Hello guys, we are here expanding your consciousness, giving you the best life advice and exposing the matrix. In this video, we're gonna talk about the ego. Okay, how the ego tricks you, how the ego makes you create your own suffering and what is going on. We're gonna talk about this. We have a lot to talk about actually. So, in my reality list, for me, there are two, two egos. Okay, the 3D matrix ego that uh, we're gonna talk about in this video that is based on the matrix uh, system of limited beliefs that is uh, based on this um, system of limitations that uh, we all walked through and uh, it lies in all of us you know, it, it lies on everybody at this moment on the planet that is not in uh, his spiritual awakening journey and uh, then there is the higher dimensional ego, the ego that uh, we develop after our spiritual awakening, the ego that we develop through the guidance of our soul, of our higher self, of our intuition, of our inner voice, of our inner calling. And uh, basically what happens right there is your higher self is um, sitting in your mind and uh, constructs the higher self ego. Okay, you completely operate from the soul, from the soul level. And you will know when uh, this will happen. We, we are not going to talk about it uh, in this video. I'm going to leave something uh, for you that you might need your, in your future. The, the higher uh, self-ego co-creates permanently with the heart, okay? And uh, you will know that. You will know that. You will know that an, an alchemy has taken place inside you. You have changed. The, the way you think is different, the way you act is different, it's, it's higher actually, it's higher, it's better for everybody, it's better for you, it's better for everybody. And memory comes up only to, to serve the impulse of the heart for the creation in the present moment. You, you use memory in a different way with that ego. And uh, it has no longer emotional attachments of, uh, you know, to, to the past, you know, with regrets uh, or uh, anxiety about the future. You don't have a depression about the past. This ego is different. You don't have, um, you know, emotional attachments and the need for control. It's completely different. But we are not going to talk about uh, this um, in this video. In this video, we're going to talk about the 3D Matrix ego that me, myself, I used to have and everybody has on the planet until you reconstruct it, okay? Until you have an ego death that you're going to have uh, after your spiritual, uh, during your spiritual awakening journey, actually. And yeah, let's talk about it. Has the ego dominated you through your life or has it enslaved your life? Are you suffering? Did you lose? Did you lose your touch with your soul as a result of listening to the voice of the ego? Is your heart set closed as you were growing up in this place, in this human experience? That means that means that uh, your ego has taken place over your life and creates your own suffering, okay? And when we refuse to acknowledge the, the extent to which uh, this ego run our lives, we suffer. We suffer. This ego is programmed to, to make us create our own suffering, to make us create our own pain, to make us destroy ourselves. Okay, it's a trap. A trap that all our ancestors have fallen into it. Okay. And uh, if you can't uh, acknowledge it, you fail to authentically grow, to fight deep inner peace in life. And inner peace in life is the greatest form of wealth. Okay. And to, to acknowledge that you have a huge ego, I had one myself, but it's dying, it's almost dead. You know, I'm, I'm at, at the last part of it. Uh, to, to acknowledge it, it takes uh, humility, it takes uh, openness, it takes uh, honesty, you have to be honest with yourself, you have to accept yourself, you have to open the connection with your soul. You have to open the connection with your soul, meditation is going to help with that. Okay, you have to learn how to silence this uh, 
the single mind, this monkey mind, this uh, default uh, mode network. You have to learn how to silence this part of your brain that is responsible for the voice inside you. Okay, and it, it's gonna be really hard. The bigger your ego, the harder, the, you know, the more uncomfortable and the harder it will be to, to, to have an ego death and to acknowledge it. But the universe is gonna help with that. Your soul is gonna help with that. All you need to do is uh, to acknowledge it and this information i'm gonna give you in this video is gonna help you to un acknowledge this 3d matrix ego and how this it destroys your life okay when you are asleep when you have not woken up to the truth of life when you when, when you live in the fake reality of the 3d matrix ego You live in the lie, you don't live the truth of who you are, and you live in the story the others told you, not in your story. In your story, in other words, you live in a lie. Okay. When you wake up, when you when your soul triggers your spiritual awakening uh, journey. You're gonna experience true authenticity and the truth of uh, who you are, and you will be in a state of being. Okay, it's um, it's gonna be life changing, actually. Okay, so you have woken up, or, or you might be in the middle. You might be in the middle during your spiritual awakening journey. In the early stages, you are in the middle, and you you seek the truth. Okay what is real and what is not real. Actually, in your spiritual awakening journey, you will be like, I'm getting crazy, I can't, I don't know what to believe anymore. And that's a good sign that you are on the right path. Okay. Feeling lost is a part of uh, the spiritual awakening journey. So, you have to understand that the 3D matrix ego lives in the past. Okay. In the stories, in your past memories, in, uh, in your past, it, uh, it lives there, okay. And um, it likes to make assumptions. For example, when you see a person on the road, uh, you think this person is like that. Or when you see a person in the internet, uh, Instagram or whatever, you see this person is like that until that person opens his mouth and he says uh, or acts uh, completely different and then your whole entire perception your, your whole entire perception of this uh, person get, gets shattered okay that was your ego you have been played by your ego by the 3d matrix ego you have to let go of the need to control, okay? First of all, you have to stop feeding the ego fear, okay? Fear is the fuel of the 3D matrix ego. That means mainstream media, that means uh, the articles you read, that means uh, the podcast you watch, that means uh, the, um, the series you watch on Netflix, that means everything. You have to stop, you have to stop, you have to to open your mind and you have to stop feeding fear into that ego because it's it's fuel. All those uh, limited uh, beliefs of the matrix f feed of fear. Okay, you let love guide you, cut the fuel, change your surrounding, change your environment, change your environment if you wanna stop uh, letting this uh, ego trick you and destroy your life and create your own suffering. Let go of the need to control anything, okay? The truth of the matter is that you can only control yourself and the only way out of this suffering is to go within. Okay, it's as simple as that. That's how the energy works in this place. You have to align with your soul. That's how you stop suffering. That's how you bring higher, higher vibe energy inside. You have to call it, you have to summon it. You have to be in alignment with your soul and your, your way will be shown step by step. Another thing you can do is um, you can uh, unscrap an old album, watch yourself uh, when you were a child, recall those memories, see um, that, uh, observe the other children and you will see that those children, they haven't built the 3D Matrix ego yet 
and they are present there instead of being and they create from that position you have to remember how you were creating back in the days before they program your mouth uh, your your mind that is exactly that was exactly in alignment with your soul you were instead of being you are present i remember myself as a child it's, it is exactly as i am now amazing that, that is going to help you to st- stop um, letting the ego control you okay also you have to respect other people's lives and um, how this universe work and the reality okay you have to love your ego your ego is your chill li- leader but you are not your ego your ego is supposed to, to help you survive okay but uh, we have been programmed in a such way by the media by the education systems uh, by by everything in tv that uh, this ego tries to protect you from uh, from uh, everything and uh, that's not what it is supposed to do okay it uh, inflicts itself in your relationships it destroys your relationships fear of abandonment for example it's a part of the three medics ego it's a system it's a belief of the three medics Medics, uh, ego, the fear of abandonment, it's gonna destroy your whole entire life. It's already destroyed mine, you know, until I fix it. Um, but yeah, the key is to be present to stop um, letting your ego trigger you. Be present. Ego lives in the past and the, f- and the future. The 3D matrix ego lives in the past and the future, it creates um, conditions of uh, separation if this happens uh, then that conditions based on separation if this happen then that based on cause and effect and projects that onto the past or onto the future so if you want to stop letting the ego control you you have to go more in the present moment okay fifth dimension lies in the present moment in a state of being in alignment with your soul and that's the key your third eye is the key to get there Okay, that's why you need meditation, that's why you need to learn thyself, that's how you stop letting the ego control you. Because the moment you acknowledge that you create your own pain, that's the moment this ego is going to begin to die. Okay, that's the, the key is awareness. The key is awareness to stop uh, um, your ego from triggering you and creating your own suffering. Another thing that your ego is going to tell you is that you need anger and uh, and fear in order to to cause change. I've had this so many times in my life. I used to believe it back in the days. That's not true. The reality is that anger breeds anger. Gore breeds gore. No, no gore is gonna stop a gore. The cycle is gonna continue. Love though breeds love, peace breeds peace, and true love is uh, active. It comes from a place of understanding and massive action. True love is expanding. It heals you. It expands your consciousness. It's, it expands your whole being. If you let, if you let fear guide you, you will be led to to, to lower uh, quality of life, okay, to lower life. And you don't need that, nobody needs that. Okay, remember that. You don't need fear, you don't need uh, anger to, 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 uh, to make a change. Another one is that, um, you know, that your ego is gonna tell you, that the 3D matrix ego is gonna tell you is that you need to suffer in order to find fulfillment. That's not true. I, I, you know, my whole spiritual awakening goes through suffering. And of course it was a catalyst. And it, you don't, but you don't need to suffer to experience fulfillment, okay? Um, f- for me, suffering was a, 
a result to, to, to become whole, okay? That was, to, that was what triggered my spiritual awakening. But um, there are a lot of other people that uh, wake up and find their wholeness, their purpose, and um, their mission here on planet Earth, who they are without suffering. Okay, uh, and we, we like... Uh, we like to keep ourselves, um, you know, attached to, to those stories that, uh, that, to those stories of suffering that created our spiritual awakening, that were the catalyst for the, for our spiritual awakening. And the key here is to detach from everything. Okay, detach from everything. Because attachment is the root of suffering. Okay, um, don't get attached. That's the key to stop letting, that's ego. Stop letting the ego take you, okay? And uh, why we do that? Because we feel uh, entitled, we feel enriched, we feel special, you know? Yeah, okay. It happened the way it happened. Uh, but you don't get attached, okay? Get the lessons, realize why the heck your spiritual awakening is happening there is a lesson there you have to find your why and keep going keep going but you don't need to be a martyr to experience your soul okay that's what life shows me of course some past might have suffering okay but uh, it's not like you have to create more suffering with this you have to stop letting uh, the ego control you Another thing that the, the ego does is to point figures. You, you say you are in this difficult situation, um, maybe your relationship is not working, uh, your partner is not talking to you, uh, your friends and family do doesn't accept your goals, your, uh, you know, you're gonna make videos on YouTube and uh, stream on Twitch and your whole family, they start talking, uh, talking you out of it, they don't like it and uh, stuff like that. Or you might have been diagnosed uh, with a serious illness, but that's the ego. That the ego, desire and fear. The ego creates the desire to 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 be anything else rather than what you are at this moment, and um, this desire and the fear that exists in the 3D magic ego creates your suffering. The truth is that, uh, you know, uh, what creates suffering is your your resistance to what is. That is, that is what creates suffering. You have to stay in the perfect balance. That doesn't mean uh, you gonna let people in situations walk over you. It doesn't mean you, you are not doing the best for yourself and you are not making the best of your life. It, it doesn't make, mean you don't take responsibility for your actions and your thoughts and feelings. It does mean though to, to accept to, to accept reality for what it is and um, to accept that your happiness is a direct reflection of your decision. And if you wanna change your decisions, you have to change your belief systems, okay? That create your thoughts, your emotions, your words and actions. Another thing that... Uh, so, so you have to stay in the perfect balance. Okay, that's the key, that's the key, guys. That's the key to stop creating suffering. And uh, I experienced that I find that after I experienced both sides, okay, both extreme pleasure and extreme pain, physical physical pleasure and extreme physical pain. Okay, the, the key is uh, in between. Another thing that the 3D Matrix Ego li likes to do is... Um, I need that out there. Give me this. Give me this from out there. That's ego. I need your love in order to feel whole and complete. Um, 
I need to lose uh, this uh, weight uh, in order to be confident, to be sexy, I need to be, you know, successful in order to be fulfilled in life, I, I need to be validated and likable in order to be acceptable by this society. That's ego. Is this true? The reality is, what I've learned along my journey, the reality is that nothing outside of yourself can uh, genuinely give you what you can't give yourself from the inside, okay? In other words, no, no people can meet your needs. No one can meet your needs. Okay. And... That's how you stop letting this ego control your life, okay? You have to go within, to, to find your core values, your core needs, to know who you are. You, you give the... You, you, um, you look outside because you never learned how to listen to yourself. Okay, you always listen to other people. You always base your, li- base your life in the ego of the other people. And that's not who you are. You need to find balance. You need to find balance. You need to have one ear to listen to yourself, to your inner voice, and um, to your intuition, you know, to your soul, and one ear to listen to the feedback from the, those people, okay? Nothing out there is gonna fulfill you. It's, it's, it's gonna be from within first, okay? It's gonna be from within first. Another thing that uh, the ego, the 3D matrix ego likes to do is to ignore that negative feedback. As I told you before, always have one ear to listen to yourself. In, learn how to listen to the voice within, to the inner calling, to your inner voice. And one ear to get the feedback from the world out there. And learn how to be open, try to understand. Don't worry about uh, being about being right or wrong. Worry about to understand. Actually, don't worry at all. Understand. Observe. Connect the dots. Understand. Observe. Connect the dots. Understand. Become a better observer. And be open to negative feedback. Doesn't mean uh, it should get inside your mind, but you should always observe it. And don't fall. Don't go on the other side and fall in the trap of uh, being a victim. Being a victim of flatter. This is the other side. When someone is talking good on you to to enrich your ego, to raise your ego, and uh, um, this and that, and ultimately they influence your decision making, your decision making in order to take benefit of that. Okay. Always learn how to listen to your own voice, and that's how you stop the ego from controlling you. Thank you so much for watching. This is the video for today. If you like the message, share the video, support the channel, subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, until next time, guys. Peace and glory.